South Korea recorded its biggest current account surplus in five years last year on the back of a continued rise in exports. However, the surplus is steadily getting smaller with the global rise in energy and raw material prices. Kim do tells us more. South Korea recorded a current account surplus of more than 88 billion U.S. dollars last year, the biggest in five years. This is according to Bank of Korea on Thursday. Despite the global spread of the Omicron variant and global supply chain disruptions, exports of major items such as semiconductors, petroleum and chemical products, steel, automobiles and mobile phones have increased to most regions. It's also meaningful that the transportation balance recorded a large surplus thanks to the increase in freight rates and the recovery of shipping company capacity, also the income as a result of continued overseas direct investment and securities investment increased significantly. While the tally seems positive, it did not meet the central bank's previous forecast. Last year's surplus was about $3.7 billion short of our prediction, and it was due to a larger than expected decline in the goods surplus caused by rising raw material prices and surging import growth since the fourth quarter. The balance of trade for the month of December came to a surplus of more than 6 billion U.S. dollars, around a half the surplus recorded the previous year. This came as imports of raw materials jumped more than 60 percent on year in December, with crude oil prices soaring more than 85 percent over the same period. Other accounts, including services, primary income and capital and finance, also recorded surpluses. The BOK also added the persistent spread of the coronavirus at home and abroad, global supply disruptions, volatility of raw material prices and uncertainty over China's economy as potential risks that could weigh on this year's current account. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News.